welcome back. Today's video is going to be my October BoxyCharm unboxing. If you are unfamiliar, BoxyCharm is $21 a month plus $5 for shipping if you are Canadian like myself, and you get four to five full-size beauty products in every single box, and the value of every box is always a minimum of $100, so you always get your money's worth. Last October's box is still my favorite box of all time, so I'm really excited for this one. I hope it's amazing. My link to sign up is always down below, and don't forget if you want to receive this box, you still have until the last day of this month to sign up. You will probably get waitlisted, but from my understanding, you will still receive the October box when you get off the waitlist. That is what I've always heard from you guys in the past. Even if you do get waitlisted, you always end up getting the box you signed up for. Correct me if I'm wrong, but a ton of you guys have told me that is what your experience was, but let's go ahead and get into it. So our first glance at the box is just a card. I literally can't see any of the items, and as always, I'm going to set that aside. So the first product I'm seeing is one of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquids in the shade Prosecco Pop. That is what it looks like there. I'm not actually going to swatch this because I'm probably going to save it for a giveaway just because I never reach for liquid highlights. I recently just got rid of my Moonstone liquid in a declutter because I just never reach for it. But these are an amazing value, so if you love liquid highlights, you will definitely love this. I think some people actually got the powder shimmering skin perfectors in their box. I usually try to avoid any spoilers, but I think I saw some people receiving that. So I'm slightly disappointed that I didn't get the powder. I would have loved to receive the powder version of Prosecco Pop because that's one of the few from Becca that I don't actually own. But it's okay, this will go on a giveaway. Hopefully one of you guys will absolutely love it and get a ton of use out of it. The next item is from Dr. Brand and it is their Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. So just an exfoliating scrub. It's sealed and I'm not going to open it yet because as always I have a ton of skin here to work through. I'm assuming this is just a physical exfoliant though. It doesn't say anything about like glycolic acid or anything like that and it says it's suitable for all skin types. Next we have got a lip product from Tarte. This is one of their Tarte's lip paints. I think these are the quick drying matte formula if I remember correctly and it's in the shade Pillow Talk which I might have. Let me check. Yes, I do already own the shade Pillow Talk so I'm going to tuck this one away for a giveaway for you guys as well and I will swatch my one that I already own and show that in the close up so I can keep this fresh for one of you guys. Second to last, I've got a product from the brand Dirty Little Secret. It says it is an eyeshadow crayon in the shade Illusion. Oh, that's actually really pretty. It looks like a rose gold kind of shade. Oh, well, that's gorgeous actually. I love that shade. Definitely right up my alley. It's like a shimmering rose gold peachy kind of shade. Definitely like my go-to color for like every day on my lids. So I will definitely get some use out of that. I'm pleasantly surprised with that one. I didn't think I was going to love it, but it is a shade I can definitely get a lot of use out of. And the last item looks like a lip liner from the brand Jante Blue. I'm guessing I have no idea how to say that. Lip liner pencil in the shade Spice. Very good like fall nude, slightly kind of like brown toned. It's really pretty. Kind of goes with my nails actually. <laughs> Not like a super unique shade. I probably have dupes for it, but I always like having more lip liners. So that was everything in my October box. I totaled everything up and the value is $138. Most of that is coming from the Dr. Brandt product, which is $58, and then the Becca highlight is $41. The lip liner is only $5, but overall the value is good. I am slightly disappointed with this month's box. I did look on Instagram quickly and some people did receive the powder version of Prosecco Pop, which I feel like really would have made me love this box so much more. But because I'm just not going to use the liquid, I'm kind of disappointed. The liquid lip I have already, the lip liner and the scrub, I'm just kind of like meh on because they don't seem like anything unique. The one thing I am most excited about is this eyeshadow crayon, but overall this box just isn't the best for me personally. But obviously that's just kind of how subscription boxes work. They're definitely hit or miss sometimes. But that is where I'm going to wrap up today's video. If you got anything different in your box, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I always love reading about what you guys got. And if you do want to sign up, once again, the link will be down below. But give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want to see me continue doing these unboxings in the future. Go follow me everywhere on social media. I am at Sarah Rihanna on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And hit that subscribe button down below if you are new here. But I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.